Now, we've heard about the prosecutions of innocent sub-postmasters and mistresses that ruined lives, but the scandal's footprint is far larger, legally obliged to make up the imaginary accounting shortfalls. Many of them actually paid their own money in to fix a problem that they didn't actually create. Cheryl Shaw is one of those. She joins me now. Cheryl, very kind of you to make time. Um, and, and just if you wouldn't mind giving us a little bit of history of what happened to you. Yes, good evening, Rosanna. Um, yes, basically what happened was that every Wednesday when I was doing my accounts, the uh, money started to be short after the chip and pin and the Horizon system was running. And, you know, I, it, I just had to put in, to begin with, my own money. I would ring up the helpline, which I didn't really get much help from, I also had people, um, the engineers, whoever they were, come and look at the Horizon system and tell me what they were telling everybody else, that nobody else is having these problems. Well, we've all heard that before lately. Anyway, so in the end, it just got to the point where it kept going wrong. And one week, I don't sort of make good the... Um, the balances and somebody came to see me and in the end I was suspended and it went from there and of course I lost my job I lost my livelihood well I lost lots of things I lost my house in the end oh just and also of course I felt as if people might be judging me so this week I actually um, put on a worthing um, okay. It was the Worthing past and present on Facebook and wrote about why I left. And this is 15 years ago when I left. And, you know, I just wanted to say that I left because of the scandal that's going on at the moment. And the, uh, well, sorry, go on, Rosanna. No, I want you to go on because I, I, I think it's important that we, oh, we right. hear your story. And I'm just, I just want to say I'm so yeah. sorry. It must have been just an absolutely damaging time for you. Oh, I just, I just felt awful. I lost all confidence in myself. Um, I thought people might be judging me. Of course, I lost my job. I just, you know, I just got so depressed about everything and it was just terrible. And this week, since I've written this um, on Facebook, I've had so many replies. I've had a, about a thousand likes on my article. And also so many people have written in and said that, you know, they remember me and to pursue my claim, which I've never done. And I've never done it because I suppose I was just, when it started saying about claiming, I'd I'd got rid of most of my paperwork after six years and I didn't think I'd ever get anywhere. Mm. But I mean, now I've decided, sorry. Good for you for going about the steps of yeah. um, putting your story out there on the Facebook group and writing about it and getting some kind of, mm. if we can call it verbal compensation for what happened to you in terms of compensation. Yes. You've, you've spoken to the Sun newspaper, of course, and your case was actually raised well, in the House Daniel of Commons. Hammer. Go on. Yeah, Daniel Hammond rang me up and he said he'd seen my article and how sorry he was for me about it and could I tell him my story, which I did. And now he put it in the paper, I think it was Monday, wasn't it? Yes, mm. that the article's been in the paper and I feel as if I'm getting somewhere. I People are contacting me, but I really don't know what I should do next. That is the problem. Well, the post minister has said that you should apply to the Horizon shortfall scheme, but we thought we would use this opportunity, Cheryl, while we have you to bring in a bit of legal advice for you. We have a lawyer oh, on standby, nice. if that's all right, Mike Rainford. Yes. He's been listening to you speak, yes. Mike. Thank you very much for yeah. joining us. Did you listen to no, Cheryl, good, good. Cheryl's story I did, I did. then? Yeah, I did. Uh, and uh, Cheryl, I feel, I feel so sorry for you. And and can empathise with you to a certain extent, having uh, represented somebody in a, in a, a similar position, not as not nearly as bad as you, but back in the day, again another sub postmaster who who had similar issues and uh, left the job through the stress of it all. So I, I really feel for you. And, and um, 
you can, um, as uh, has been pointed out, claim compensation via the uh, Horizon Shortfall Scheme, um, which is something that is online. Um, and you can, uh, if you want to, to uh, have a solicitor assist you with it, then uh, don't yes. worry about the, the cost of that because the, uh, the post office ha have said that they will meet legal fees that um, you have to pay out to assist you in making sure you get the right amount of money. Not only the money you paid in to, to make up what you thought was a, a shortfall that was your fault, which it wasn't, but also for the distress that's been caused to you, uh, the, the, uh, the health problem that you may have had, um, the loss of, of, of uh, your reputation, um, there are there are other factors apart from just simply the money that you put in that you can claim for as well as part of your compensation package. Um, there are interim payments that are being made while the whole compensation is being looked at for you. But I, I would urge you certainly to to look at getting yes. online um, and, and putting an application forward for the Horizon Shortfall Scheme. And if you feel you're out of which your depth I've in any way... I've completed a form. I've completed a form which I downloaded, but you suggest that I also contact a solicitor, do you? Well, it, it, you know, I, you may, you know, you seem like a very, very capable uh, lady, and I'm sure you could probably sort it out yourself, but maybe sometimes just to, to cut through and make sure that, it, you know, you, you get everything you're entitled to. Because it may be that you may you may not think about of things that they will think of and say, well, you're entitled to this, you're entitled to that, and as you can claim the legal yes. expenses back as well, mm. then why not? It does. Why not? Uh, yeah, as you as you point out there, Mike, it absolutely makes sense to have that legal face representing you, Cheryl. But then also you can claim those costs back. Yeah. So hopefully it will be at no cost to you. Look, it's it's been really good to get you both on, Mike Rainford. We really appreciate your input there and your and your advice. Yeah, and Cheryl, nice. we'll have to leave that here for now. But we really want to thank you for sharing your yes. story. We wish you the best of luck. We'll catch up with you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank both. you. Thank you. Thank you Take very care. much.